welcome to my channel if you like my videos then kindly subscribe like and watch thank you let's start problem 2.21 the statement of question is that member a b and b c are made up of steel having modulus of elasticity this with cross sectional area of this and this so respectively for loading shown determine the elongation in member a b and b c so from this figure you can see that this member a b and b c these are made up of steel and their areas are shown uh, you as per given loading 28 kips and 54 kips at point a and d respectively you have to find the elongation in member a b and b c so let's start with given data so I have the data as uh, e, B, e A B is equal to E B C is equal to E that is given as 29 into 10 is to power 6 PSI clear and the cross sectional area of A B that is given 0 0.80 inch square inch and cross sectional area of BC that is 0 0.64 square inch clear and lengths are also given so we have to find elongation in AB the part first is elongation or change in length of AB and the B part is elongation in member BC so let's start with its solution now from this figure you can see that the length of AD is 6 feet and length of BD is 5 feet so if this is theta angle so cos of theta will be equal to 6 by 6 by this length here AB length no, so we do not have length AB. So first I will find the length AB. Length of member AB which is equal to uh, if you take the Pythagoras th theorem. So this will be this length 6 square plus this length 5 square. This length 5 square that is given over here. So 6 square plus 5 square under the root. And this will give you 7.810 foot and that is also equal to 97.72 inch. Because 1 foot is equal to 12 inch so you, when you multiply 7.81 with 12 inch so it will be 93.7 inch. So length of member AB is also fine. Now if you take cos theta so cos theta will be equal to what? 6 by 7.81 and sine theta will be equal to 5 divided by this hypotenuse so that will be 5 divided by 7.81 okay now for finding these deflections uh, we will use first joint A for use joint A as free body diagram use joint A is free body diagram so at point A you have to identify the forces so this is a point A so let this is a point A here the first force that is acting vertically is 28 kips clear the, the AD force is acting that is AD force that is acting like this is FAD one force is acting FAB this is the FAB force and this is the theta angle so uh, we will use uh, the equilibrium condition that sum of all force along y direction must be equal to zero and taking the upper direction force as positive so you can see from this figure that one force that is acting downward is 28 kips and the other force will be the vertical component of this fby which will be acting upward so this fby will be 
F A B Y sorry F A B Y will be acting upward. So the first force that is minus twenty eight kips and that is uh, acting downward, and the second force is plus F B Y F A B Y is equal to zero. Now this is minus twenty eight, and you know that F B A Y is equal to F A B into sine of theta it is equal to 0 so minus 28 plus f a b and this sin theta is actually 5 over 7.801 5 over 7.810 is equal to 0 so if you calculate it you will get force at in member a b that is equal to 43.74 into 10 to the power 3 pound this is the force now as you found, find the force AB so deflection in AB is actually force in AB FAB LAAB divided by area of AB into E now you will put all the values when you put all the values F is 43.74 into 10 to the power 3 length of this member AB which is 7 point this is 7 point 810 foot or inch so we will definitely we will use psi pound per square inch so we will take it into inch so that will be 93.72 area of ab that is given as uh, 0.80 and e is given as 29 into 10 to the power 6 so if you calculate you will find the deflection or elongation in AB that is equal to 0 0.1767 inch. So this was your first part elongation in rod in member AB. Now for part B we will take use joint B for free body diagram so from figure let's move back to the figure you can see that this point B is acting there is acting a force this BD there is a force BC and there is a force AB so we will draw it below as free body diagram at point B so if this is the point B so there was a force that is acting like that this is force is F B C there was a force like that F B D if you look at the figure F B D F B D and there was a force F A B which was like that F E B. So now here we will use the equilibrium condition that sum of all the force along x direction is is taken as zero, taking the force in this direction as positive value. Clear? So now you can see that there are two forces. The first force is that is FBC that is acting in positive direction, and the second force is the horizontal component, which is minus 6 over 7.810 FA FAB. It is equal to zero. So now you will ask about this terminology. So you can see that there are two component. One is this component, x component, and one is y. So we are component. We are interested in F 
A B X component. So this F A B X A B X is equal to F A B cos theta. Again, this cos theta is in above in above this cos theta is six over seven point eight one. So replacing this cos theta as six over seven point eight one zero and F A B is the same F A B. So this F A B X is usually this which is I have wrote in shortest form. So from this we know have we have F A B as well. So when you calculate it, so you will have F B C and this F B C comes out to be thirty three point six zero into ten raised to power three L B three pound. Now you have F B C you can get the value of change in length in member B C. So change in length B C is equal to F B C into L B C over area of B C into E. So put all the value you will elongation in B C will be equal to 33.60 into 10 is to power 3 length is given as 72 not 72 length is given as 72 inch 72 in because 6 foot and we have 6 into 12 72 inch divide by divide by 29 into 10 to the power 6 that is the value of e and 0 0.64 64 is the cross sectional area that is given in inch square so when you calculate it you will get the reflection in bc comes out to be 0 0.1304 inch So the results are shown in equation 1 and in equation 2. So these are the both elongation in member AB and member BC. Thank you so much for your uh, support and watching my lectures. If you like the videos kindly share, kindly like, subscribe and share.